All right, everyone, Cody here. So today's episode is likely going to be a collection of little clips that I've taken over the last week that I haven't been able to add into another video. Uh, I think I've got, I'm going to weigh some water samples to show you the difference in weight. Uh, I've started experimenting on the flow hive idea. There's a salt diffusion experiment. I think I'll show some of my birds. Well, I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. Yep, Kang and I are at the Great Salt Lake. Looks like about a quarter mile away from salt air. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself a water sample. So here's my water collection as to date. You can see I've got Great Salt Lake, pond near my house, American River, and Pacific Ocean here. They should all have the same volume. So let's check the weight and therefore the density. Let's go ahead and start with this fresh water from the river. Check the weight there. Looks like four pounds, 12 ounces. Okay. Let's take that off. Let's try Pacific Ocean. Okay, looks like uh, four pounds, 15 ounces. It weighs an extra ounce more than the fresh water does. Let's check the pond water. Which actually looks like about the same. 4 pounds 12 ounces. Because it is fresh, even if it is a little bit dirty with some algae. And now for the Great Salt Lake water. Which is quite a bit more salty than the ocean. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. That's actually five pounds, three ounces or so. So what is that, uh, four, seven ounces heavier than the uh, fresh water? You know, that's, that's more than significant. That's definitely due to the density rather than any variations in bottle volume. <laughs> that's cool. Before I build my version of the flow hive, I want to do a couple experiments with the comb. I think today I'm gonna suck the honey out of some honey cells, poke a little hole in the bottom of them, and just see what the bees do with it. As you can see, along these uh, bottom rows of cells, I have poked holes in them. Let's see if the bees fix them, or leave them as is. Either way, I'll be able to exploit it to make my flow hive. One day later, let's see what they've done. They have filled in just about all the holes that I poked. That is interesting. I can definitely use that because that means that I'll be able to have holes and the bees will fix them, even at the bottom of the cells. Very nice. So here's my crude salt diffusion setup. You see I've got two containers here, which I'll be filling with water, a long tube between them, and some cotton balls to uh, balance out any flow so it's nice and laminar. In one of these, probably this one, I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, a mixture of salts which have different masses but similar reactivity and uh, see if I can get the lighter one to go through and collect in here before the heavier one does. Uh, I was thinking I could possibly even add water to this one and take it out of this one to kind of create a counter flow to kind of create like a treadmill effect so that the uh, heavier salt gets washed back and the lighter one can continue on. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that all manually with a pipette but I should still be able to do it if it'll work. And uh, that ought to be pretty cool. Because then I might be able to use that process to deplete potassium, because the lighter potassium would go through and that's the non-radioactive stuff. So if I can separate two salts just by their mass, then I should be able to do it. Uh, here's the two salts that I'll be using. Got potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate there. Again, they're fairly similar in reactivity, just potassium permanganate has a much lower mass, so it should flow faster. I'm going to mix these together in this beaker, probably add a lot of this, and uh, just a little of this, and then see if I can uh, extract this from this. It should be pretty easy to see if I'm successful, because they have very different colors. So, let's uh, go ahead and get started. Alright, so there's the potassium dichromate. It is very orange. 
and of course the potassium permanganate which is very purple. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of this in there just to set off the color. That might even be enough. And let's see if I can separate it out. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of this in there so we can see what it looks like when it's super diluted. Yeah, it looks like just kind of a greenish. So yeah, if we can make that pure purple, we know we got it. The rest of the salt is in. Now I just gotta wait for it to diffuse through this tube. And uh, by the way, when I was adding the solution in here, it was pushing fluid through the uh, thing. So I went ahead and added fluid over here to the, like push it back, and that seemed to work. So, yeah, I just gotta wait now. Maybe come back in an hour and see if it's moved any. This thing is working incredibly slow, but as you can tell, the salt is diffusing into the tube. And uh, it's a lot lighter at this side than it is at this side. It doesn't seem to have any kind of gradation of the colors in there yet, but uh, we'll see. As you can see, I've been taking fluid out of this side and putting it in here, and then adding an equal quantity into this side in such a way that I keep the yellow kind of in the middle of this tube. Seems like it's kind of working, although you can see the tube's kind of got a gradation between top and bottom so it's almost like it's gravitationally flowing in rather than actually diffusing. Okay, so it's uh, quite a bit later and this thing doesn't appear to be working. You can see the stuff is still diffusing through and it seems to maintain the same color no matter how often I put water and wash it back. It's getting late so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and forget about it for a while let it go on and diffuse over into this and who knows maybe this one will end up being uh, purpler than this one is but uh, if not it's looking like this method is not working yeah this doesn't seem to be working hardly at all so I'm gonna have to think of something else two calves one cow Oh, my chicks are about ready to hatch. See the shells already cracking? A couple of them are. <laughs> 